Hey, what's up, geeks? Deron here. In this video, we're going to cover selectors. Now, selectors is an advanced concept, but it's a much needed concept that all React Native developers should understand. Now, use selector allows us to select data from our store using Redux. And one of, most, one of the biggest features of selectors is that you can actually create your own selectors using the create selector function. This actually memoizes data. If you're not familiar with the word memoize, basically memoize allows us to cache information within our application. So why is this important? Let's say, for example, that you're getting data from your reducer and you're actually mutating that information and you create a function that allows you to mutate that data. Now, every time your application loads, you're going to call that function and recalculate that information and put it back and get it to show on your screen. Now, you don't want to do that every time, especially if you have a large application and um, you're calling additional APIs from just from different sources. So having the ability to memoize information allows your application to run a lot more smoothly. So let me get into it. If you take a look at our screen right now, you can see that I have an empty screen, right? And that's because I'm getting data, I'm passing in data into the flat list and our data property is equal to our articles, which is empty. And I actually have to update this part to use state. So let me say use state. Use state. And the default value of use state is going to be an empty array. The initial state is an empty array. Now, if I go ahead and I look at my store, you can see that our store has an articles property and it's referencing the articles reducer. Now, if I go into the article slice, you can see that we have our article reducer. We created here at the bottom of our file. And we also have an initial state, which is our data. And our data, its value is set to our mock data. So if I go into the mock data, you can see I'm getting a collection of different articles um, from our mock data. What we're gonna go ahead and do, we're gonna get this data to show on our screen. First thing we're gonna do is get the data to show on the screen. And the second thing we're gonna do is mutate that data. And the third thing we're gonna do is create a selector. So the first thing, let's get this data on our screen. Now, React, React Redux allows us to select specific information from our store. So it has a built-in selector and the built-in selector function, its name is use selector. We get it from React Redux. Now, when I go ahead, I'm gonna create a new variable called data. I'm gonna set it equal to use selector. I'm gonna go, with, I'm gonna reference my state property. From our state, I'm going to go to our articles. I'm going to get our data. Just to give you an idea what, how this looks, if I take a look at my debugger, you can see I go into, I'm in the state right now. It shows the state is highlighted. I'm going into my articles and I'm referencing the data property, which has a list of all the articles. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove articles from our data value and pass in just data. Save. Now we're not getting anything on the screen because I'm not actually uh, showing anything. So I'm going to go ahead and say text. And from this, we're going to get our title. So now you can see every title that is um, referenced within our data property. Now there's a few other properties we want to reference as well. If I go into one of our objects, you can see that we have a collection of different properties. One of them we've already gotten, which was our title, but I want to get byline. Byline actually shows us who the author was. So I'm going to say type, I'm going to copy what's in the text, and I'm going to get my byline. Okay. Now we have our byline, we have our title, our byline, and the last thing I want to do, I actually want to get our the image of our article. So when I go back to uh, check on my debugger, you can see that there's a metadata property. All right, so if I go into item, 
dot metadata and it's a the first object so I'm going to go ahead it says bring in my image component you can see how confused I am right now our image component I already created the style so I'm going to reference our style styles image for my source your eye and it's item dot media so let's say media it's a first array so I'll say Reference array zero, and then I'm going to go to media metadata. So media dash metadata. Yeah, dash meta. Object. So I'll say a second array. I'll say dash two. Okay, so I have to add some kind of configuration. So as you can see, this is further proving why you need to know what selectors are because you can avoid issues like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add a condition statement. And in that condition statement, I wanna pass in my image. Okay, we're good to go from here. Now I think this is a good, a good place to stop off. Now, as you can see, we're actually mutate. We're actually grabbing the data from our um, from our source. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring in another hook, which is use effect. Use effect is going to allow us to basically fetch this data, do something to this data before our screen actually loads. So with use effect. Here, I'm going to say create a say new data, create a new property called new data, new variable called new data is an empty array. And I'm going to go ahead and map through data. I'll say item, I'll say article. And from within that article, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say new data, I push, and the new data, I'm going to have a thumbnail. Thumbnail property is going to be article dot, I'm going to get this right here. And after that, I'm going to have a title property, which is going to be article dot title. And then I'm going to have an author property, which is going to be article dot by my. Now, I'm 
we have all this data, I'm going to go ahead and reference our function set articles. I'm going to pass in new data. So update my dependencies. Now I'm going to so reference de referencing data. I'm going to reference articles. And I'm also going to update the property references. So right now, instead of referencing uh, all of this, I'm going to just reference reference the data that exists within our object. So now I'm going to say thumbnail. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit, and I'll say thumbnail item dot thumbnail, and I'll say item dot author. Set it by my. It just does not like this thing. So I'll go ahead, grab this, and make a copy of this right here. Let's say article.media this is true then press in this okay not true actually I'll do this if it's not true I'll pass in it okay oh it should never be empty string so I'll go ahead and just remove that and say All right, cool. Now, as you can see right now, we cleaned this up. Now, right where we're making some kind of calculation before our screen loads. And we do that every time we refresh this emulator. Every time I refresh the screen, it does this. It does this calculation. For a split second, it's white. And it, gets this, it recalculates this data. Each child should have a unique key. OK. I'll just ignore this part for right now. Actually, I'll put title. So we don't want to do this on every single screen reload, and we don't want to re basically don't want to recalculate information every screen load. And the way to get around that is to create our own custom selector. And the way you do that is using some of the built-in functions that comes with the uh, React um, React Native Toolkit. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new file called selectors. That's yes. I'm going to import create selector from Redux Toolkit. Now the function create selector was actually taken from another dependency library called reselect and Redux Toolkit now allows you to use it here. So I'm going to my app. You can see that I we already have a selector that's built into the application. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab this selector. I'm going to paste it in just like that. I don't need use state. Go ahead reference it just like this okay anyways now now that we have our our data we want to actually mutate this data so this is where we actually create our own custom selector so I'm going to go ahead I'm going to create Select. And usually with your selectors, you always name it select and then you say data. So I'm going to say right here, select mutated. I'll say select articles. Our articles, we're going to have create selector. Right now we get to add our selector. So I'm going to go ahead and add select data. The next thing I'm going to get is and this can actually be an array so I'll say and next thing I'm going to get is our data
desk. So you can see we have our selectors, which is an array. So we can have an array of selectors or selecting our data in our combiner. So our combiner is basically the way that we can combine all of the properties that we're referencing. So right now our select data, we're referencing the data property. So we're selecting that data. Now I'm gonna go into my app.js file and I'm going to grab everything I have here, copy this. I'm going to paste this in just like that. And instead of returning our set articles, I'm going to return new data. I'm going to update this from new data to articles. So let's say articles. Okay, I'll make sure I export this. Okay, cool. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to export our selector, select data selector. So if I go ahead, I go into my app.js file and I import use or import select data. And I can pass in my selector data, just pass in just like this right here, select data, and it's going to do the same thing. You see, we refresh it, nothing changes. We're selecting our data. The app, the app is exactly the same. There's nothing to worry about. If I go ahead and I, whoa, I got messy. So if I go ahead, let me close this. So if I go ahead and I refresh this, you know, we can keep reloading it. Everything still looks the same. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring in my select articles, right? And I'm going to remove everything that I have here. Remove all this stuff. And I'm going to remove this at the top. I'm going to rename this to articles. And instead of selecting our data, I'm going to select articles. Now, let's save this. You can see everything is exactly the same way it should be. If I save it, refresh it, Everything looks good. Now, we're not, we don't have enough information on this screen for you to actually see a clear, get a clear idea of what's happening. But basically, we're creating a selector. So what does that mean? If we take a look at our create selector function that we have here, we're passing in our data as a property. So right now, our selector is memoizing the data, is storing the data within our application. In our data right now, we're using mock data. So that, that data never changes. So because that data doesn't change, this recalculation right here, the mutation that we're making to this data, it stays complete. It, it, it only gets ran once. It only gets ran once and it only gets ran again if this data changes. So let's say, for example, you're getting your data from an API and the API updates every 30 minutes or so, or there's a new articles or something loaded to the data. Now, because that data selector has changed, that means this will start, these computations will be made again. Now, if the data does not change, that means that this doesn't even run. Your create selector, it, it memoizes the data, so it caches the data, and it checks if the cache data matches the data within the selector. And if it's identical, then there's no reason for it to do the recalculation. It knows how, how it's supposed to look, and it just passes that to your screen. But if the data does change here, and it looks different from the cached value, then you can expect it to recalculate. Now, I hope that that was clear. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Also, um, there's a Geekmo membership, and then I also have a Discord, a Discord group that you can check out as well if you want to get um, become part of the React Native community. But anyways, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll check you, catch you the next time. Peace.